guys, it's Trina, and I have a new video. That's not a wrap-up, I know. It's weird. That's all I've been <laughs> putting up lately. But I want to talk today about my audiobook pet peeves. I listen to a ton of audiobooks. This year, so far, I think I've read 71 books, and probably like 65 of those have been audiobooks. Like, it's a very, very high percentage because lately I just don't have the time to dedicate to sitting and reading a print book. I like to listen to audiobooks while I do other things. Very, very handy having a small baby at home. So I've just been loving listening to audiobooks lately. That's most of what I have read this year. And I just want to talk about the things that really irritate me about audiobooks. I think my number one thing is when the narrator changes between books in a series. So if you've got five books in a series, and you've got one narrator doing the first three books, you get really used to the voices that they're giving the characters, and then all of a sudden there's a switch and the last two books are done by somebody else. That happened to me with the Percy Jackson series with Rick Riordan. His series changed narrators, and that has really irritated me because all of a sudden, especially when you binge read, and so I was trying to listen to all of them back to back, and all of a sudden you have to get used to new voices for the characters and you don't know who's who anymore. If the narrator can't do it or has quit doing voice acting or whatever, fine, but like if there's no real reason for them not to be doing that book, I just wish that series would have the same narrators all throughout. The only exception to this is if it's a companion series where it follows a different character each time, that's fine because it's a different character, it's going to be a different voice in writing anyway. So you know, a different narrator for that kind of stuff is fine, but overall I just hate it when series change narrators in the middle. Another thing that can really kill an audiobook for me is when the narrator sounds way too old for the character. Specifically in YA books, there are some that I just can't get into because you can tell the narrators sound like they're in their 30s or 40s or something and you've got these like 16 year old characters and they're just... <laughs> you can just tell sometimes with voices. A lot of narrators can kind of change the tone of their voice to sound a little bit younger, but some of them don't do that at all. One audiobook that I have not been able to get into is A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir because I really want to finish that series and I'm only doing audiobooks really right now, but the narrators in that sound like they are grown adults and I, it just it doesn't sound like the character to me. I can't really get into it. Another thing kind of like that is even if they sound age appropriate, I hate when the voices that the narrator gives the characters just don't embody the personality of that character at all. One recently that I listened to like that was Truth Witch. The narrator did not have a grasp on the characters at all. Like these are bold women and she gave them very timid voices and so it constantly sounded like they were a second away from fainting and it just didn't really fit with their personalities. Another pet peeve is when a narrator gives the characters the exact same voices. So like you can't distinguish, especially when it's main characters who have a lot of page time, a lot of dialogue, and you don't know who you're following at any given time. Truth Witch was another one that did that. The two female main characters sounded exactly alike. There are some other books where you know, especially like if a female narrator is trying to do male voices or vice versa and you know they're having to like read in a register in a tone that's not really natural to them so like all of the male voices sound exactly the same because they can't do the variations as easily. I know that some of Julia Whalen's earlier audiobooks were like that and even between series like she would do one series and there'd be these males that sound this one way and then in another series I recognized the narrator that it was her because these guys sounded exactly the same. That's not that bad. I can understand that but Especially if it's in the same book and all the characters sound exactly like that is annoying. Another big pet peeve I have is when there are multiple narrators and they read the same characters differently. A good example of this to me was in One of Us is Lying. There were four narrators in that one. Two girls, two guys, and I think one of the female characters said that one of the male POVs had an accent and so she was reading him I think in a slight accent but then the male narrator that did that whole POV had no accent whatsoever and so for me it was hard to tell like when that character was in her scenes because they just didn't sound alike at all. And you know, I feel like I wish narrators would get together and agree on, okay, this is kind of what we're going for with this one character and then this character and this character. Let's try to kind of keep it a little bit consistent. Although I know like you can't perfectly imitate another narrator's voicing, but you could at least not have them be so completely different. I also have discovered I really hate 
when the narrators scream. I know that that can fit action scenes, it can fit the story in a lot of books, but it just scares me every time, especially when I'm trying to like listen at night. <laughs> I don't want it to be that loud. Or if I'm listening during the day, my kid is asleep or whatever, and then all of a sudden an audiobook just starts yelling, just belting it out. I know the first audiobook this year that I noticed that in was in Children of Blood and Bone. There are so many scenes that absolutely call for streaming, and I actually appreciate this from an acting standpoint, like, you know, the narrator's getting into it, but, oh, she would just, like, scream at the top of her lungs so many times, and then you're having to, like, turn the volume down, but then immediately the dialogue goes back to like a quieter voice and you just can't really adjust the volume quick enough so that is kind of a pet peeve of mine even though I think it really fits a lot of stories it doesn't fit in <laughs> with you know my need for level volume. Something that has irritated me for years of listening to audiobooks are when the narrator does not pause at all or not long enough between like line breaks you know when the story has a break in it within the same chapter you know just like where there's a blank space and they just don't pause at all so it, it just goes from the end of one sentence to the beginning of that next section and you don't realize that there has been a break in the story especially when chapters don't have numbers or headers or anything the sequel to warm bodies did that there were different point of view switches and a lot of breaks within the chapters and I never knew where we were and I it took me a while to catch on that we had jumped to a different point of view because the narrator just wasn't breaking long enough for me to pick up on that. And then, you know, in the opposite way, sometimes they pause way too long and you think the audiobook is just cut off. Like in the Ruby Red trilogy, which I recently read, sometimes that narrator would pause a long time between chapters and I would be like, did my audiobook stop? And then it would pick up again and I was like, oh, okay, just an extra long break. And they weren't even consistent. They weren't all the same length of pausing. So I don't know if that's a production thing, but the breaks can be annoying to me. And then the final thing that I have recently discovered that I just really don't like in audiobooks are footnotes. I think footnotes are cool when I read them in a print book. I usually geek out a little when I see them because I just think it's kind of interesting. But I have recently listened to the Crazy Rich Asians series and the, I think it's I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinsella. It's one of her books that have footnotes in them and I hated it because you're reading along and then the narrator has to stop and tell you the footnote and then they get right back into it. It just breaks up the pacing a lot. And I mean, I know that's how you naturally read footnotes, but... I don't like them in audio format, basically. Those have been annoying to me. So that is what I have come up with recently for my personal list of audiobook pet peeves. I would love to hear what yours are in the comments. Definitely let me know. And if you've been listening to any good audiobooks lately, I'd love to hear your recommendations. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the comments. Bye!